Page's Kitchen. We have several more weeks of NFL football, so I thought we would make a couple of snacks that you could have on hand in case anybody drops by or might want to have them just for yourself. We're go going to be making ranch pretzels tonight. This is somewhat similar to a recipe I made a couple of months ago, but just a little bit different. We don't have very many ingredients for this. We're going to be using some uh, dill weed, a package of this uh, ranch, hidden ranch seasoning, some avocado oil, and some butter. We're going to be mixing all those together and then we'll be pouring them over the pretzels. This is one pound of pretzels. You could use pretzel sticks if you liked. And also if you're trying to stay gluten-free, Snyder's now makes a gluten-free pretzel. I understand that they're very good. I'll also give you a recipe if you would like to make your own uh, ranch seasonings. I know sometimes people don't like to use something that's already made, so I'll give you all the ingredients so that you can make your own. So let's get started. We're just going to go ahead and pour one packet in there. This is a fourth of a stick of melted butter and a fourth of a cup of avocado oil and the dill weed. We'll mix these together and pour them. I'm gonna pour half of this over the uh, pretzels and kind of give them a good toss and then I'll pour the rest on there. And this will bake at 275 for about 10 minutes and then I'll stir it and then 10 more minutes and it'll be done. This is a very fast recipe. This will uh, keep good for several days and if you want to make it ahead of time for a party, go ahead and wrap it in, uh, take it out of this obviously after it's baked and put it in another Ziploc and just put it in the freezer so you can freeze it. Uh, this is, I have a uh, non-stick aluminum foil on the bottom of this pan. So we don't want it to stick so we're just going to close this up start giving it a good toss. If you don't want to use a Ziploc bag, you don't have to. You can put them in a big bowl. But as usual, I spend my life, I think, in a hurry. And I'm trying to cut down on the number of dishes that I have to wash. So this looks like it's tossed nicely. And all that dill weed smells so good. I don't know if you've ever grown fresh dill. We grow it in the garden here. It's very easy to grow, and it just smells so good when you bring it into the house. I think dill is a really versatile herb. You can use it on everything from salmon to bread to pickles, and it actually looks really, really pretty in flower arrangements. So, leave a little bit of air in there so that when you toss this around, you make sure you get the seasonings on everything. Again, this will be at 275, 10 minutes. We'll give it a stir, 10 more minutes, and it'll be done. All right, let's get this in the oven. All right, I've had these in the oven for 20 minutes total now, and I'm going to go ahead and just pick this whole thing up like this. I'm gonna pour them into the bowl. Again, they're cool enough now so people can eat them. And just gently go ahead. Let them go into the, see that's the nice thing about having the non-stick aluminum foil. And that's it. I know you can do this. Let's get this party started. 